buongiorno guys and welcome back to the YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Trying my best with the Italian here. We are in the lovely little city of Olbia in Italy, exploring what this beautiful city has to offer. The sights, the food and the beautiful Italian culture. So join us once again for another exploring video and let's show you some of the beautiful Sardinia. Olbia is a coastal city in northeast Sardinia, Italy, overlooking the gulf that encloses the Tavalora and Melora Islands. It's known for the medieval San Simplicio Basilica and for its great wine, cafes and pizza restaurants dotting central squares. As always guys, if you love these videos, hit the like button down below and the subscribe if you want to see more of our content in your feed. Let's explore Olbia. To check out the beautiful fresh pasta, the amazing pizza, Bellissimo. the culture and the fantastic architecture of this city. And who could forget about the amazing gelato, the fabulous Italian frozen ice cream. Gelato! Olbia and indeed the island of Sardinia are a mecca for foodies. The Italians really know how to get food right and we had so many great meals here. The coastal territory of Olbia is among the most beautiful in Sardinia. In this area of Galora, some of the most beautiful beaches of Sardinia are concentrated. A unique place to spend a well-deserved beach holiday in Italy. As you can imagine, this city has all kinds of amazing restaurants serving the freshest pasta, the freshest pizza, beautiful salads, and there's literally bars and restaurants serving this all over the city. There's so many different back streets and side alleys and you'll find some of the best restaurants down these. Olbia is one of the most well-connected cities in Sardinia, often chosen as the gateway to the island due to its excellent travel links. But you shouldn't just pass through. There are so many things to see and do here in Olbia. Or just relax with a glass of wine and a freshly baked Italian pizza. Bellissimo! Temperature wise, it's around 27 degrees today, 27, 28, and we are in May, so not full summer. And actually the heat's not too bad. A lot of the Italians you see, they're dressed in coats and jackets and suits, and uh, obviously us Brits, not used to the heat, t-shirt and shorts. Take a walk through the streets of the old town. Walking along Corso Umberto, you can see many elegant buildings and many small shops and bars. Very interesting are the town hall, and the archaeological museum built on a small isthmus near the port. But I have to say it is a pleasant heat and it's beautiful to walk around in and it just makes the city all that more fun to explore. A great way to see the city is by bike, e-bike or electric scooter. The laws here on electric scooters are much better than the UK, meaning you can rent them, park them pretty much anywhere and drive them wherever you want. Prices start from about one euro to unlock and 0.25 for every minute. And here is our chosen scooter for today's ride across Olbia. Pretty sure it's a Segway, but I'm not totally sure. However, what I do love is it's really not that restrictive on where you can ride or park these here in Olbia. There are some speed limits set particularly in the pedestrianized areas of the old town, but that's really it in terms of e-scooter restrictions. I spent a good two hours covering the entire city on one of these in the glorious Italian sunshine. Occasionally pausing for a drink or a gelato as I said, it's a great way to see the city. As a purely tourist resort, most of the activities involve tours and excursions off the coast. However, there is so much to get discovered in the inland, such as cultural trips and wine and food tours, and even a tuk-tuk trip around the old town. And whilst that might sound quite expensive, it's certainly cheaper than the UK rentals. And don't forget at the moment of filming this video, the euro to the pound is actually quite a good rate. 
So typically, if you're riding, say, 10, 15, 20 minutes on a scooter, you can get quite far, several miles across Olbia. That's going to cost you around three to four euros, which actually is very, very cheap. And as I said, it's a beautiful way to see the city. The Corso Umberto is a charming cobblestone street in Olbia that runs through the central Plaza Regina Margareta in the old part of the town. Some of the most exciting things to see in Olbia can be found here. Strolling along this street, you will encounter a large number of restaurants with outdoor seating areas which serve the most exquisite Sardinian delicacies. As you might expect, these provide the perfect spot to enjoy something to eat whilst watching the world go by outside. I love the culture here and the Sardinian people are really friendly. However, they don't all speak perfect English, so it's good if you learn some basic Italian phrases before you come. Often ignored in the mad dash to the Costa Smaralda, Old Beer has more to offer than first meets the eye. Look beyond its industrial outskirts and you'll find a fetching and vibrant city with a historic centre. Eating and drinking out, I think in Italy, is just a lot cheaper than the UK. The average meal probably costing six to nine euros and drinks from four to five euros for a pint. It's not bad at all. In fact, actually, it's so much cheaper than the UK, it will make you want to eat out nearly every night. And that's not an issue, as Olbia is crammed with boutiques, wine bars and cafe rimmed piazzas offering a refreshingly authentic and affordable alternative to the purpose-built resort stretching to the north and south. It's very common to eat out here and you'll see many locals alike out in the array of restaurants, cafes and bars along with tourists. There's also a really relaxing and tranquil side to Olbia and indeed the island of Sardinia. So sitting by the pool with a few drinks and nibbles is also a great way to while away the day. Or perhaps a glass or two of local wine. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.